Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to install a car stereo system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe and let's get straight into it. Let's begin by taking out the old radio. Mine kind of just stays in here. I could just pull it out. Same thing with the other radio I had in here. That's that. It's a bunch of wires here and it's a huge mess. Here's just the wire harness. I'm just gonna disconnect that. So we get our wires out of the way. And here's our antenna. I'm just gonna plug that out. And this radio is free. So here's the mess of wires that's here. And this is where it gets connected to our car harness itself. So. I'm actually just going to get rid of this because I purchased a new harness for my vehicle and we're going to install that and it's going to be much easier and neater to go through this. This is the one from the radio and let's start with going over the wiring on how to wire this radio. Here's a look at the back of my radio and we're going to focus on the bottom left corner right here which is our main harness and that's where our wire harness gets connected. Here's our wire harness and this simply plugs in directly to the radio. Here's a look at the opposite end and we have a ton of wires and the question is where do they all go? Each wire is color coded and labeled coming from the stereo itself. Here's a look inside the manual and here we have our color codes. As you can see, each color has its specific function. In front of me here is the wire harness for my car itself. I decided to replace that as well. So these are the actual wires you would be connecting from your car. And if you look at the diagram for their color codes, it matches up to be the exact same. Here we have our color code for the harness coming from the car itself. Basically, to keep things simple, you're just going to go color for color with the wires coming from your vehicle and match them up to the wires coming from the radio. Right here we have two white wires, but it's important to note that even though you might see two white wires, look around the wire because there might be a second color to it, and it's important that you match those up. If we look closely at the wire coming from the vehicle itself, it's actually labeled. It says 12 volt battery slash constant. In parentheses, it says 12 volts positive. We're just simply going to match that up with the yellow coming from the wire harness on the radio and just make sure that they both mean the same thing. So this one is for our wire harness coming from the vehicle, our 12 volts constant. And let's take a look at the yellow wire coming from the radio. Here's the yellow wire coming from the radio and that is our constant 12 volts positive. So we know those go together. So right there, yellow to yellow, we can connect those together. There's many wires and it looks confusing, but it's very simple. We're just going color for color and we're just going to make sure by double checking our diagrams to make sure that they are for the same functions. So let's go color for color and then see what's left over. We're going to have leftover wires coming from the radio itself and this is because the radio has more functions. The road definitely gets bumpy and for solid connections I will be soldering all my wires with the use of heat shrinks. Just twisted up my wires together. We're gonna solder them. From there, we're gonna use the heat shrink above as a insulator and protector. From here, we're just going to continue and connect all our wires coming from the vehicle and repeat the process. Our connections are now soldered and insulated. Alright, so here's my harness that gets plugged into my vehicle. Here's the harness that's connected to the stereo. So we have these wires connected right here. And just to quickly go over, we got our yellow wire, which is our constant 12 volts. Then we have our black wire, which is our ground. We have a solid purple wire, which is our rear right speaker positive. Then we have a purple with a black across it, which is our rear 
right speaker negative then we have a green solid which is our rear left speaker positive then we have a another green with a black across it which is going to be the same speaker for our negative uh, then we have a red wire which is our accessory wire which supplies 12 volts we have two gray wires one is solid which is our front right speaker positive and then the gray with black is our front right speaker negative then we have another two white wires one is solid which is our front left speaker positive and the one with the black going across it the white and black is our front left speaker negative and we have an orange wire which is our illumination wire which also supplies 12 volts and all we really did was just match color for color and right now we have our four speakers wired up and that's that but now we have a few extra wires coming from our radio so let's go over what these extra wires are let's start with this one this is our SWC input this is steering wheel control input and it has a 3.5 millimeter jack um, this is to control your audio with your steering wheel I don't have that so I will not be using this but if you did have that that's what you would use it for next we have these two wires one is solid blue and one is blue with white so the solid blue wire is for your powered antenna and it sends 12 volts I do not have that and I will not be using that next we have a white and blue wire and this is to send a signal to your amplifier if you have a sound system I no longer have one so I will not be using this either next we have a purple wire and this is your reverse input 12 volts this is if you had a rear view camera a reversing camera you would use that and that would energize the screen on your stereo so you can see next we have this parking brake input wire this green wire and this one really gets connected to a brake it's not exactly required some of them do some of them don't and honestly you could just ground this to metal that's really where this goes quick note about the green wire the parking brake wire this wire is to ensure safety that you're not watching DVDs while you're driving this is to ensure that when your car is only parked that you can watch DVDs this will prevent you from watching movies while your car is in motion and drive so the way to bypass that which I don't recommend because it's illegal to watch movies while driving but if in case you wanted to you would actually just take this wire and just ground it to metal so we have a solid red wire and this is for a rear camera and this sends 12 volts and then we have a red wire with red and black and this is for a front camera and this sends 12 volts power to that we actually had two solid red wires one is for our accessory input and the other one is for the rear camera power and honestly you really want to focus on the wiring labels for each wire so you don't mess those two up and just go color for color and code for code over here is where you would connect your antenna and then over here you have other accessories that you can connect such as another reverse cam a front camera subwoofers and things like that and they are all labeled right here and that is pretty much it that is how you wire everything as far as all these extra wires and accessories I'll just be taping them off with electrical tape so there's no feedbacks here's our extra accessories I just taped them off and had them to the side and here's our harness it gets connected here and this one I'm gonna connect to my vehicle Here's the harness coming from my vehicle and I'm simply just going to connect these together. And now we are connected. Our final connection is our antenna and it goes in right here. From here I can just tuck in the wires neatly and just simply slide in my system. I'm not going to do it all the way yet just in case I need to pull it out. Let's start this up. All right, everyone, it's the moment of truth. Let's start this up. All right, we have our illumination. Whoa, <laughs> that looks awesome. 
great. Let's turn up the volume. All right. We got sound. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.